At 3.46 p.m. on Sunday, September 15th, the U.S. Air Force McDonnell Douglas C-17 airlifter took off from Long Beach Airport on its first flight. Test pilot Bill Casey was at the controls, along with Air Force co-pilot Lieutenant Colonel George London. They were accompanied by Loadmaster Ted Venturini and flight test engineer Henry Vandegraaff. Our cameras caught up with Bill Casey and his crew on a morning that dawned with the same bad weather that forced postponement of the flight the day before. The airplane performed, um, I think, as well as it could have been expected. Um, it hung together good. Flight controls hung in there. Noise levels are down. First flight is a, is a major event on several aspects. Um, it's a major milestone in the program. 
uh, it proves that you know the company has actually accomplished something and built something that can perform its function and so it's it's a confident building for everybody to see that the plane behaves kind of like you expect it to I, I feel real good about it because the uh, performance that was demonstrated during the taxi runs and today um, is at a weight that's the plane's fighting weight and so this gives credibility to to the design you know When I was a kid, I read a book, and it was called uh, The Lonely Sky. And it was about uh, a test pilot from the Douglas Aircraft Company, uh, Bill Bridgman, who had flown the Skyrocket. And I thought at the time, that would be a neat thing to do. So when it came time to go to school, I um, went into aeronautical engineering. And then that one thing led to another, and then I went to the Navy and flew there. And so it's kind of funny now, at this age, uh, having worked with some of the people that were in that book, uh, to uh, have accomplished that, and uh, this is just living proof. Uh, you better be careful what the hell you think about, because you might get it. <laughs>